Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuoki Kyoto Winds, Saito's Rat. Let's go. Okita, are you alright? I'm fine. I think I just caught a cold or something. Ah, I see. Well, please take care of yourself. As I hiccup. I have medicine to treat colds, so I'll give you some when we return. Oh yeah? Thanks. I guess having you around comes in handy at times. Huh? What's the matter? Okita's eyes looked past me, and suddenly something caught his attention out of the side. Out to the side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you mean, no? That rhymed. Stop it. Let go of me. We're... Patriots fighting every day to kick those damn foreigners out of our country. I don't know why I'm making him sound southern. You owe us a little a little booze. Or maybe even hit a little company. Across the street, a clump of perhaps three or four men were harassing a young girl. Okita, Heisuke. I see them. Stay here. But it appeared that Okita got to them first. Well, well, guess patriots aren't what they used to be, with men like you throwing the title around. The usual crowds shuffled away from Okita and the men as quickly as they could. No one wanted, wait, no one wanted to be near the sight of the unsheathed blades. The Ronin's eyes found Okita's jacket and the men stiffened. Y you're one of those Shinsugumi fellows, ain't you? Ah, you must be the brains. So tell me, chief, what's it gonna be? His lips curled into a predatory, predatory smile as his hand gripped his sword. There was no mirth in that rictus, rictus, I guess that's the word, rictus grin, and the Ronin's faces grew much paler. Their moods were not totally deflated yet, as their ringleader made one more attempt. God Damn it! Get out of here, you brown nose and son of a bitch! Shut up! If you really want to live, maybe you should follow your own advice. I don't know why I did his voice so weird, but well, I'm like having issues with voices today. My bad. The sight of the two Shinsengumi blue jackets standing shoulder to shoulder was enough to deter the men. Screw you guys! Run! The, co the last of the color drained from their faces, and they turned tail and ran. Ugh. If they're gonna just run away at the sight of us, then they never should have picked a fight with us in the first place. Um, you aren't going to go after them? Arrest them? And charge them with which crime exactly? Didn't figure you to be f uh, you for the Iron Fist type. Sort. Close enough. <laughs> I didn't really mean it like that. Um, thank you for saving me. My name is Kaoru Nagumo. I watched as the girl gave Okita a quick bow. She was so refined and ladylike. Even dressed like a girl, I doubted I could ever be as elegant as her. I'd only just begun to feel sorry for myself when suddenly I felt a hand on my arm. Whoa, o Okita? Calm down, kid. Come here and stand next door. Um. Mmm. He shoved me next to the girl we just rescued, then stepped back to stroke his chin thoughtfully. Uh, um, Okita? I glanced nervously toward the girl and attempted to smile kindly under the circumstances. The smile she gave me in return was beautiful, but there was something about it that seemed odd. Looks more like a smirk. She seems familiar. Just as I thought, they look just like each other. We look like... That's when I finally realized. She was identical to whom I saw in the mirror. Really? I don't think they look like at all. No, no, no. They're practically identical. 
Dress the kid up like a girl and you'll... You wouldn't be able to tell him apart. Okita, she seems troubled. Oh, um... I had to say something, but what? Perhaps she saw through my confusion, or perhaps it was something else. I wish to thank you properly, but I'm afraid you've caught me in the middle of an important errand, which I must attend to. Please forgive my rudeness. I hope I'll be able to repay you soon, Okita of the Shinsengumi. With that, the girl who called herself Kaoru disappeared into the crowd of Kyoto. Although the une une uneasiness, holy crap, created by her presence remained. I have to say, what I think is kind of interesting is like, if you saw Okita's route, you saw who Kaoru was, was Kaoru was our brother. Which is funny because the main character is dressing up as a man, and then her brother is dressing up as a girl. That's so weird. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Looks like she's got the hots for you, Soji. Ha. <laughs> oh, hey, Sake. Is that really what you think? You've got a long way to go before you're at Sano's level. What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Their back and forth continued, but my mind was elsewhere. Last night's rain left a number of puddles on the road, and when I looked into them, I saw a strange girl who looked just like me. Kaoru, huh? Wind caught the surface of the puddle, sending a flurry of ripples across it. Come on! Let's get moving! All right, I'm coming. I turned and ran toward Heisuke and Okita, already on their way back to headquarters. Ooh, there's thunder going off here. It's gonna rain. The temple was much larger than the compound in Mibu, as advertised. The whole Shinsengumi could gather in the common room with space to spare. As Kondo spoke, his voice echoed grandly throughout the hall. Standing before Kondo with the many proud men under his leadership with glowing expressions. By now, I imagine you have all heard that a Aichi? I, I never can say this one right. H. Emochi. Or Aimochi. Is it Aimochi or Emochi? Whatever. Tokugawa, the 14th shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate, will be visiting our city of Kyoto. The Shinsugumi have been asked to guard him as he passes through the city on his way to Nijo Castle. What? The Shinsugumi guards the shogun? Wow, that's a one big promotion. <laughs> Too hard for them to ignore us after Ikeda and Hamagiri, huh? Our work's finally paying off. Guess you could say the fate of the country will be resting on our swords, huh? That's exactly it. You guys better be ready for it. Guarding the Shogun? That is one big role. Indeed. If only Sanon was alive, boo-hoo. He would have been happy. So happy, not happy. Just ha Yeah, whatever. How truly dreadful to have lost such an ally. Like you give a shit. Ito wiped crocodile tears away from his eyes with a silk handkerchief. Liar. Ito and his followers were told Sanon died. In fact, the entire incident surrounding his transformation had been covered up. Only a few of the men of the Shinsengumi knew the truth. Aw, oh, Ito. I think performing the job given to us by the Shogun is what Sanon would have wanted. Yes, I understand. This is an excellent opportunity for us to thrust our name into the forefront of the masses. Things are going to get pretty hectic soon. I don't know why I did his voice so weird. We ought to get our assignments hashed out to begin... I'd like Toshi, Soji, and myself to- Sorry, Kondo, but you think maybe Soji can sit this one out? Hmm? Why's that? Supposedly his cold hasn't recovered. I've repeatedly told him to take care of himself. What? 
Soji, is this true? Are you alright? The demon's just being a mother hen, sir. I think I'm fine. Don't give me that crap. You just about coughed up a lung earlier. Is that your excuse to sell me some meds? No matter what, I won't buy Ishida medicinal powder. That's not what I'm trying to do. Just shut up and follow my orders. I gave Okita some pretty strong medicine not too long ago. I wonder if that didn't work. Or maybe he doesn't have a cold, but rather he's inhaling dust from the lack of cleaning here. Then suddenly someone raised his hand. What's the matter, Heisuke? Something on your mind? Uh, um, Kondo. I'm not feeling so great either. You too, Heisuke. You better take care of yourself. This is our time to shine. I was hoping to have all of us there to greet the Shogun. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no, no. Your health comes first. Always. I'm sure you'll have another chance. I just have to make sure to get to do something... You get to do something spectacular. Kondo and Hijikata continued to discuss their formation, but... Suddenly Hijikata turned to me. All right. What are you going to do? Um, what? Don't give me that. I'm asking if you're coming with us or not. I, I can go too? Of course. We'll certainly won't mind. We certainly won't mind. After all, you're practically one of us. If you want, I'd love to have you come. Could I? Could I really go? I hesitated for a moment, com confused, and Okita laughed. <laughs> Why don't you go? It doesn't seem too dangerous either. Yeah, the Toshi Domain can't come in or out of Kyoto, so I'm sure there will be no fights. What should I do? I'm just a little concerned about a person like me, who's not a warrior coming along, but I was feeling emotionally strained with no leads of my father returning, turning up on rounds. I'll go. All right, then. I figured we'd put you in charge of running errands as a messenger. I'm using the hell out of you, so brace yourself. I love his little smirk. That was cute. In the early days of the Tokugawa shogunate, Nijo Castle was a place for the shogun to stay on his way to the capital. It's been a while since the shogun actually stayed in it, though. We'd met the shogun on the road and begun our escort about 30 minutes earlier and arrived at the castle relatively recently. By now, I imagined, Kondo, Nagakira, Inoue, and the men and the men were gathering the officials, wait, were greeting the officials and other important people in the shogun's whatever that word was. I just skipped it, whatever. Well, I've got a job to do. It was my job to tell soldiers when to change shifts and to carry messages back and forth. I gl a glorified errand girl, in other words. I don't see myself as being useless, though, I think. Um, I've come with a message. Oh, this guy. I always forget what I do with his voice every single time. What? You're the messenger? This isn't the playground, you know. Well, I'm not here to play. Ha, <laughs> is that so? Then what could someone like you, who can't even use a sword, do for anyone? I've come here to do what I can do. Wouldn't you mind if we stopped playing games? Speak. The chief is currently going around, paying his respects to the people in the castle. Everyone else continue with the guard. Message received. Huh? That's it? It's that simple? What's up with the, your dumb face? Surprised I listened to your message? Oh, well, no, I just... A job is a job. I don't plan on making it personal. All right, you've delivered your message. Get out of here. Uh, okay. Mickey is so odd. Oh. He's hot, but he's odd. <laughs> Mickey and I never really got on the best of terms, but... Maybe he's a responsible person. 
After he shooed me away, I continued attending to my duties as a messenger. In the surroundings of Nijo Castle, I can see the warriors wearing a white uniform which was different than the afternoon uniform. They don't seem too nervous, but I guess it makes sense. Some of the Imperial Nationalist extremists were driven out of Kyoto, and many warriors fled. There's no way anything would happen. You jinxed it. You jinxed it. <laughs> A sudden chill ran down the length of my spine. I froze. Ah! I knew the feeling. A length of cold steel seeking entry into your flesh, eyes shining with a lust for blood and violence. Since I begun living with the Shinsengumi, I felt it more than once. Bloodlust. My eyes were drawn to the roof, where no one would think to look. A large wall cast in shadow, shielding a section of the roof from the moonlight. There they stood. Jeez, creepy. He's creepy. You. So you've noticed us. Not too slow, then. They looked very distinctive, unlike any soldiers I'd seen before. But three sets of piercing eyes scattered my thoughts, making it hard to think. I had recognized them. Now I had to put names to faces. Chikage Kazuma. Kyuju Amagiri. Kyo Shiranui. They were connected to both the Satsuma and the Choshu, and they'd made an effort to impede the Shinsugumi at Ikeda, and again at Hamagiri. Why are you here? Okay, how did I do his voice? I don't remember. You mean, how did we get here, right? Well, the answer is simple. Man-made obstacles like these are shit to a demon. Okay, what did I do with it? Oh yeah, I had like the weird voice. The weird accent, I guess you could say. We are for a specific purpose. We are here for a specific purpose. That purpose is you, Chizaru Yukimura. We are here for you. What? My heart was pounding so hard it could burst. Why do these men know my name? I, I don't understand. A demon? Ooh, lovely thunder. What do you mean? And what are you here for? I'm going to let you guys go here before the thunderstorm goes full out here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!